With the campaign for Missouri House District 147 coming to a close on November 3rd, the Arrow sat down with both candidates to ask a series of questions. One of the questions focused on the upcoming Amendment 3, which aims to undo the Clean Missouri Initiative voted on in 2018. We asked the candidates why Missouri voters are being asked to weigh in on this issue again. Republican candidate Wayne Wallingford had this to say. You know, they called it Clean Missouri. A more appropriate name would have been Dirty Missouri. Uh, I've talked to a lot of people on that amendment because I know uh, some people say, well, Wayne, you know, the legislature's trying to overturn the will of the people. You know, they were smart. They knew what they were doing where they voted for that. But uh, I haven't met a person yet that knows anything about Amendment 1, that Amendment 3 is trying to get back to what we used to do. In response to the same question, Democratic candidate Andy Layton gave this response. You know, the fact is that uh, hundreds of thousands of Missouri voters signed petitions um, to put clean Missouri on the ballot two years ago. Uh, it was a clear indication that people knew what they were doing at the time. It won with 62 percent of the vote, which is, you know, really not uh, heard of. It's rare that uh, things pass with that much of a majority. It passed every single Senate district. It cleared uh, on the positive side in House District 147. <laughs> Uh, but for some reason, my opponent uh, does not support it, and he and his legislature, uh, fellow legislators, just voted for themselves to put Amendment 3 on the ballot. They didn't ask anybody. They didn't put a petition out, circulate it. They didn't get hundreds of thousands of signatures. They just decided they didn't like it. To read both interviews in full, please visit southeastarrow.com. For the Southeast Arrow, I'm Matt Wagner.